Phil Gold was, was a legendary name that I knew before I arrived at McGill. He had an extraordinary discovery of the carcinoembryonic antigen, which invented a new field, uh, the biomarker uh, field. We've, we've been looking for 2,000 years for ways to replace the symptoms that people complain of with more reliable markers that might show us abnormalities uh, of disease, of potential for disease, long before the disease occurs. And that's what Phil invented. It was interesting, uh, in fact, what happened because we were, we'd actually started to do the work in 1963. It was moving toward what we hoped. And I had taken some, something called gel plates home with me to see whether or not I would find any reaction between an antiserum and a tumor tissue extract. And I, I promised myself on Saturday I'd have coffee first. I did. And then I went to look at the plate. And then suddenly I said, I know something now that nobody in the rest of the world knows. And if anybody tells you they do research for any other reason, then it's fun. They're lying. It's got to be fun. And it was wonderful. And from that point forward, we just continued to do more and more and more. Other people joined in, and we had a great hunt. The dean of the day at that time, Sam Friedman, again, uh, came to talk with me and said, would you like to give a shot at a McGill Cancer Center? That was, a, it was something I couldn't refuse, okay? That's an offer you don't refuse. Phil had an open mind, which was important. Phil was telling me that uh, the cancer center, as it was then, was going to progress. There was going to be uh, an expansion, uh, a lot of money put into it to uh, develop it, take it forward, uh, bring in more scientists and uh, it sounded exciting. I would sit around in my office periodically and I would doodle a building next to the McIntyre that was going to be the McGill Cancer Center. Here we are, it's finally happened. And for which we have uh, to thank uh, Michel Tremblay in a very big way and th those with whom he worked. So it's, some, it's a dream and it's happened. The Goodman Cancer Center mission is clear. We need to do outstanding science, bring this to the clinic as fast as we can, train the new generations of cancer researchers, and also inform the public and our clinician colleagues that basic science is very important. This is the only way to get to the cure eventually. I think biomedical research is very important because you have the chance, you know, that your discovery might, you know, ultimately benefit patients and that's a big stimulation, I guess, a big plus. When I look at today's students, I'm quite, you know, optimistic for the future. A lot of them have passion, they're determined. I'm always surprised to see that if you give them a chance, they'll really put their best to make a difference, you know. So I think I have great hope for cancer research for the future. Moving into the brand new Goodman Cancer Center at McGill uh, has given us a, a larger space to work in with a lot of new hardware and machinery to make our research move along at a faster pace. Uh, the facility has been filled with an array of different types of researchers and the open space environment means that we can collaborate with these researchers in a much more friendly environment. An important benefit of this building is the fact that uh, our scientists that works here for many years and are internationally renowned are sought by many different laboratories around the world. And the fact that we're improving the facility, bringing new equipment, making this place much competitive and much more attractive, uh, ensure that uh, they remain in Quebec, they remain at McGill University, and this is a great benefit for McGill, Quebec, and Canada. One of the correlates of doing complex, big science in this century is that it's very expensive. And the universities of the world who are at the top of their game are dependent not only on governments and funding agencies, but on the generosity of strangers. 
on the ability of people like the Goodmans to connect with the rest of humanity in a unique way. Philanthropy is the link between the present and the future. And philanthropy is absolutely critical to being successful in this quest to find not the cure, because there will not be a single one, but the cures for cancer and all of the other chronic diseases which afflict us. This building would not have been possible without private donations. What they allow us to do is to build the building, uh, buy new equipment, equip the new laboratories with the latest advances in technology for cancer research. In a university perspective, we recognize that we are part of a virtual global community, that what we do here has the capacity to affect all of humanity. And our goal is nothing less than being, as we have been for nearly two centuries, a major contributor to the relief of suffering and the cure of disease.